Hey, what's up? This is DJ Mac, and right now we are going to learn how to get rid of or uh, actually fix the corrupt files on your Serato. So, um, again, if you know me, I'm brand new to Serato, so um, yeah, the fact that I was able to do this means that you're able to do this, especially if you're a user, user of Serato. Now, uh, what you want to do is just highlight all the corrupt files, so you can just, you know, uh, organize them by the lightning bolt on this uh, area right here. Uh, once you find all your corrupt files, you're going to actually create a folder for corrupt files in your Finder. So you just go over to Finder, and then you're going to, um, you know, just go to Music folder, and then what I did, I just created a uh, curl files folder. And that's all you do. You create your curl files folder, and um, inside that folder, you just drag all your songs from here in your iTunes. Drag it over, and that's why you see all these songs here. They're just the corrupt files <coughs> from uh, Serato. So um, once you have all those, um, you also want to um, organize them by uh, type so you just right click any blank space in that folder and just go to uh, clean up by or arrange by uh, uh, kind and then what will happen is it will populate the songs by kind and uh, organize them in that way. Once you do that um, you want to just highlight uh, mp3 files, um, wave files and um, pretty sure mp4 files work as well. Um, anything else, you have to get another com another type of converter to convert those files, uh, like the uh, .m4a files don't work, and I don't think the uh, F FLV files work, um, but I'm pretty sure MP3, MP4, and WAV files, they all can be converted in iTunes. Uh, any other files have to be reconverted in some other uh, type of app. So. Once you um, find all those songs, you're going to take all those and open up iTunes. Um, make sure you have kind of like the latest version in your iTunes. And then in iTunes, you're going to want to go to File, go to New, go to uh, Playlist, so it creates a new playlist. And I just created a new playlist called Serato Corrupt Files. So I click on there. And inside here, you're going to drag all these files right into here. And that's why I have a whole bunch of these songs in here, because these are all the corrupted files. Now, you want to highlight all these files, and you're going to right-click on Create MP3 Version. Um, it's going to take a while, depending on how many songs you have. Once it's done, um, it's going to actually populate them inside your music. So uh, the best thing you want to do is um, you know, check the date, and you're going to organize them by date, um, date modified. And the time so that way you know you know exactly like you know which songs uh, are the latest ones that just got converted and you can see them by kind over here so you want to have basically uh, this in, you know in your uh, in your browser so you can see like okay these are the MPEG files audio files that I just recently did you know today at 119 so that you know exactly which files you're you know that you just uh, populated um, once you do that, you just highlight all those files because these are the new ones you want to bring into Serato. And that's it. You just um, take all those files, drag them. These are things that I've already done, so that's why I'm not actually dragging and, and uh, doing any of these of the actual work. So I'm just literally just uh, walking through it. So once you find those files, you drag them over to Serato. Um, literally just drag them into the all folder, <coughs> and it'll, it'll start to um, you know populate. All the files that you used before, and then that's that's it. You can actually now delete all of the uh, corrupted files because now you have all those files that were corrupted, <coughs> and you brought them back into Serato. So now you, there's no need to have these extra corrupted files. So that's it. You can just delete those files and you're done. All right. Uh, if you have any questions, you can email me bboymac27 at gmail.com. Um, again, I'm pretty much new new to Serato, but you know, I can figure out how to get rid of some corrupted files. So it doesn't take a doesn't take much brain power, just a lot of organization and common sense. All right.
Peace.